MyBookit, a new module to add to your hotel site um, to allow users to book and pay for their stay. So how does it work? Well, you create your normal hotel website um, as normal, and then you install in a subfolder the iBookit module. So then when the client comes along and clicks book now they're taken to the booking module here they can select how many people are staying and what the check-in date is so let's uh, do a check-in for the 2nd of April to the 4th of April um, and then it will search the database to find rooms that are available so any room, any room that is fully booked for that period will not appear in the list, but any uh, room that is available and can accommodate the number of guests they selected uh, will appear in the list. So in this case we said two people, um, so it's showing the double room, it's showing the twin, twin double bedded room that will hold up to four, so that will accommodate there too. Uh, we have a single bedded room with two beds, which will take guests up to two guests. And we have the superior room, which will take, again, up to two guests. And it gives them the price for each one. Then they can have a look at the details for that room. Um, and it will then show them the description, the price per night, and, the, and some images of the room, or the, the, the possible room. Okay, so if we go to the second one, as you can see, we can go back and forth and view all the pictures of the double room. So if we go back, the button doesn't want to go back, oh, there we go. Um, and so now if they choose their particular room, so say they choose this room, they can book it now. So they would enter their name um, and they would enter their email address, um, their phone number, and the security code there, which is 06185. They can then enter any remarks they want. Um, Any, any remarks they want to add and then they can click book now and now you see it's booking two nights check-in date 2nd of April check-out date 4th of April um, and then it will wait for a confirmation uh, you as, a, as the admin will need to confirm their booking um, if they want to pay for their room now they can do so so they can pay the, for the room up front so the price for two nights is 250 so buy now with or pay now with PayPal. It will then connect to the PayPal gateway. And then once it's connected, they just log in or pay by debit credit card. This is in sandbox PayPal, which is a little bit slow compared with live so, uh, PayPal. There we go, we've logged in. And we, they can view the payment there, hotel booking, order numbers, zero or whatever, and the price. Um, and then if they want to pay with a PayPal balance, they just click pay now. PayPal is processed, they've paid the money, and it will now go back to the website. And they will get a thank you page, which says your payment has been processed in PayPal, and you'll get a confirmation from PayPal. Booking number is that, amount is that, uh, PayPal transaction number is that, and we look forward to welcome you. Now in the meantime, they will have received 
an email. There we go. Um, so they will have received, uh, you will receive a new booking has been placed by John Smith. So that will tell you that uh, a new booking has been placed so you can go and check. Um, and the image here we haven't added yet so we'll just ignore that. Um, and then your booking payment at, and it will be the hotel name of course, is complete and will be in touch soon to confirm the booking. Regards the team at Book It Depot, and then it gives the details booking number, total amount paid by PayPal, thank you, and the PayPal transaction number. So they will also get a copy of that. Um, that will probably, yes, gone in there. There we go. Your, uh, your booking payment at Booking Demo is complete. We'll be in touch soon to confirm the booking, and again, the booking number and reference. So they've got their emails, they've got their booking done. So now we as admin would go in and we will look at the new bookings. So we'll just log in. There we go, and the new booking is here. So there's the booking code, uh, the room type, the check-in date, checkout date, total price, the name, email address and telephone number, payment has been received, uh, the PayPal transaction number, uh, how many guests and the remarks, please arrange flowers in the room on arrival, payment complete at PayPal on uh, whatever date and time and the transaction number. So everything gets added to the record. Um, and then we can confirm that. So it gives you a copy of what's going to be sent to the customer so, um, and whether you want to send a confirmation to the customer or not. Um, your booking has been confirmed. Dear John Smith, your booking for two nights is now confirmed. Booking code and so on. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any other questions. Um, and then we want to send that. So we're going to confirm the booking. Right, the booking status has now been changed to confirmed and your message has been sent. So if we now go back to new bookings, we'll see that it's disappeared from the new bookings. And it's now in the confirmed bookings. Here it is, John Smith. And it's being confirmed. Okay, so that's how you actually get the, the bookings come through. Now you can manage your rooms. So you, you can set the number, of, let's just edit this one. So you can give the room a name, like double room, um, and they need to be unique for each one, of course. Um, a description of the room, and that can be much, much longer than that, of course. Um, how many people, the maximum number of persons that room can take, anything one to four, um, and how many of those type of rooms are available uh, you know, in your hotel. Um, and then the price per room. And then you can set add more images if you wish um, so by clicking modify on the images you can upload more images for that room type okay so that's the room how to add rooms and you can have any number of different rooms you want um, then you've also got um, the settings area and here you can set the currency symbol the date format, either MMDDYYY or DDMMYYY, number of results to show per page on the search, um, the admin's email address, whether to use the recapture image on that page, and which folder the booking system is installed in. Um, the username for, you can modify the username, the admin username and password there um, and you can modify the PayPal settings so if you're using sandbox you just click sandbox and when you go live you just click live and then everything is automatically changed uh, when it goes live the PayPal currency code so you can select the currency code that you're using in PayPal uh, the return URL so this is the thank you page 
um, the cancel URL, which is the sorry page, the live IPN location. You shouldn't. You should only need to change the first bit of that um, if it's installed in uh, hotel booking. That will just be your the name of your site there, and if installed in a folder, then um, the folder name that we covered in the user guide, and the sandbox IPN, which will also be there, but it will actually uh, record sandbox, tra uh, sandbox transactions, um, and the sandbox payment email. So uh, that's the account that you're using for the sandbox, and your live email, which is for your live site to collect the payments in PayPal. Okay, so that's all your settings options, and that's about it. So if we look at the actual site this is the, that was the demo site of a normal site so if we look at the booking module on the index page there's not a lot to see because everything else is done in the background in PHP so there's just a couple of blocks there um, your um, footer and the header and you can obviously edit the header and the footer in P in uh, Movie Rise as usual. Um, then other pages we've got there is the Thank You PayPal page. Uh, this again, be careful when you're modifying this because there's PHP code there which will give the relevant response depending on what comes back from PayPal. So you'll see here, depending on the request that comes back from PayPal, that will do that will uh, generate one. To three different possibilities your payment's been processed in PayPal and you'll get confirmation and all that sort of thing then your payment was unsuccessful in PayPal but don't worry you can still pay on arrival and your payment is being processed in PayPal so it's in a pending status and you will receive a confirmation when the payment is completed and the system will automatically pick up that uh, confirmation that is now completed later on and do all the uh, necessary updates to the record and then finally you have the sorry page that's if they cancelled or uh, your pay the payment proves that thought was unsuccessful so that's it um, I say that th this section you uh, publish and uh, upload to the subfolder on your main site and the uh, so your main site will be just a normal Mobilize hotel site, but the booking module is then linked back to the to the main site. So if we go back to uh, go back here, there's the home there. If we go, where are we? Here we go. So if we're in the booking area at the moment. So if we click the home page, we will then go back to the main site, and that's all done with relative links. So there's you don't have to keep updating them. Okay, so that's it. So that will be available soon. I've just got a few little bits to finish off. Um, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Loving your dreams.